Welcome to Lasea class. I am your teacher, Jan Lasea. Today we are going to learn user defined input output in Win32 assembly language. Way back in time, the 16 bit DOS or this operating system provided input and output commands through DOS Interrupt 21 services. I use procedures to simplify and call the input and output DOS Interrupt 21 services. The DOS or this operating system was replaced by Windows operating system. The Windows operating system provides input and output system calls through Win32 API or application program interface for software development. Thus, programming languages such as C, C++, Visual Basic, Java, C Sharp, assembly language, to name a few, can call this Win32 library. In Win32 assembly language, to issue an input command, we call the Win32 API read console function. To issue an output command, we call the Win32 API write console function. I use macros to simplify the system calls. Thus, the print macro calls the write console function and the read line macro calls the read console function. Let us make a Win32 console application in assembly language that prompts the user to input two integer numbers and computes the sum, difference, product, integer quotient, and remainder, and prints results on the monitor screen. Let us copy this folder template. I right-click the folder template, select Copy. I right-click this location, select Paste. I right-click this pasted folder, select Rename, and I will rename to activity number 2. Let us browse inside this folder and open up prog.asm assembly source code file. I right click prog.asm, point to open with, and select notepad2 text editor. Let us declare some memory variables under the data segment. Let us declare some more memory variables to store the first integer number input and the second integer number input. I will assign a double word data type in the memory variable num1 and initialize to none or uninitialize using the question mark. Let us declare another memory variable to hold the computed sum.
Next, let us proceed inside the procedure main and then write now some codes to fulfill input process and output. Let us save, compile, run and test this code fragment. I click File Menu, select Save. I click again File Menu, Point to Launch, and then select Command. I type this Console Command, M space Probe, and then click OK to compile, run, and test. It runs successfully without any syntax error and it prompts me to input the first integer number. I will type a integer number 5 and then it prompts me next to input the second integer number. I will input a integer number value 3. And it does not yet calculate and display result. Let us continue adding some more codes. To exit this console application, we simply press any key to go back to the Notepad2 text editor. Let us write some process commands. Let us write commands to calculate the sum. Let us compile, run and test this code fragment. I click once again the file menu, select save. Click again the file menu, select launch and then select command. I type the shell command m space pro and then click OK. It runs successfully without any syntax error and it prompts me again to input the uh, first integer number. So I will uh, type 5 and then second integer number I will type 3 and then come next it will compute the sum and display the sum which is 8 on the monitor screen. Let us continue adding some more process and output to calculate the difference product integer quotient and integer remainder. I press any key to terminate this Win32 Win console application to go back to the Notepad2 text editor.
Let us compile, run, and test. I click File Menu and then click Save. I click File Menu and then Point to Launch. Select Command. I type the shell command M space prog and then click OK. It runs successfully without any syntax error. I will input an integer number like 5, second integer number 3, and it displays the sum. And it did not yet uh, display the difference product integer quotient and remainder. Let us continue adding some more codes under the main procedure to display the results. Let us save, compile, run, and test. I click File and then click Save. I click File, Point to Launch, select Command, type the shell command M space prog. Click OK. There is a syntax error at line 99, so let us debug at line 99. I press any key to go back to the Notepad text editor. Let me go to the data segment and declare some more memory variables. Let us compile, run, and test. I click File Menu and then select Save. I click File Menu and then Point to Launch, select Command, type the shell command M space Pro. Click uh, OK. This time, there, there is no more syntax error and it runs successfully.
let us input some two integer numbers. I will enter the integer number 5. Next, the integer number 3. And then finally, we have displayed results that uh, print out the sum, the difference, the product, the integer quotient, and the remainder. Let us run once again. I will first press a key to close this Win32 console application. I will uh, press, click the file menu, point to launch, and then select command. Type again the shell command m space probe. Let us uh, test a different uh, number like uh, 100 and then 10 and then uh, the sum is 110 the difference is 90 product is 1000 integer quotient is 10 the remainder is 0 let us go back to the notepad 2 text editor let us browse the contents of the folder activity number 2 I minimize this text editor the Compiler of uh, assembler compiler generated a executable file which is prog.exe. Let us run this prog.exe and as you could see it runs our assembly program. Let us test input some numbers like for instance negative 5 positive 3. And then it displays the results. That ends our topic for today. I hope you have learned in my class. Thank you for watching. God bless us.